So one of the best things about Nextcloud, I think, is the way it integrates with partners to produce a, a better solution together. And so we're really pleased to have been working with Nextcloud together since 2016 and just working daily at a very close level to get the best experience for all Nextcloud users. So our teams meet together and they plan together and they design together from support, design, development, sales, sales engineering, end to end, uh, we work together. And that gives, I think, the best integration out there. Uh, so, you know, extremely tight, tightly coupled. And that drives our mission, you know, obviously around digital sovereignty and delivering all of those good things with Nextcloud. Let me just show you a few of those integration pieces. So imagine you're working on a document and you've had a brainwave. Ah, oh, it's so good. Put it in the comments. Tell someone about it. It's all just straight there in your, your activity. And now, of course, you need to share it with many more people. You know, this started out as a prototype, but now uh, we should, should tell all sorts of people and configure that very easily uh, straight, straight out of there. And, and then, of course, tag the version. A great, great feature there so that it's, it's clear where the innovation happened and whose name it was on it. And then you can, of course, even compare it in line to those inferior older versions and see, see where things came in. And, of course, you can start adding comments and tagging users, a new feature in, in Hub 10, in the comments now. So you can, you can tag people uh, to notify about that. And actually, while we're on this document, I have another pet feature uh, here, which is you can get the styling perfect. So the document looks not, it's not just got the best ideas. It looks as well as it can. So you can see here our new style support on the side. You can see all the stars there. And you can highlight where they're used in the document. So maybe you can see next to the paragraphs there, those, those colors and numbers. So you can get it all tied together and looking as beautiful as possible. Another great feature we have is, of course, Smart Picker integration. So uh, the Smart Picker is everywhere in Nextcloud and really a great way of integrating those pieces and tying partner products together. Um, so if you want to link to documents, one of the powerful features that Nextcloud has that you won't find elsewhere is that you not only can select a document, but you can then look inside that document, inside the Smart Picker there. You can see the headings and the sections, and you can select the exact thing you want to link to. Of course, that speeds up other people's ability to follow your thoughts trace your ideas through and follow those links, uh, which is really, really uh, very, very powerful. Other things that might happen, you might just come up with some amazing idea while you're, you're editing and, and just want to be able to create a new ticket uh, for later, ideally for someone else to carry on your work and expand it. Um, just capturing that inspiration in the moment and being able to really fluidly collaborate around your documents, but also use the rest of the next cloud infrastructure to just make yourself more productive. One of the key features we've added in Hub 10 is this auto text uh, functionality. So Nextcloud Office is a stateless container. It sits there, it can't store things. But what we really want to do is provide the ability to configure it and do all of the amazingly powerful things that it can do. So there's one really commonly used feature, which is, which is auto text, which is a great example of this. Let me explain it. So often you have very uh, common phrases and pieces of text that you want to reuse. So as an example, you go and see your doctor and you've got the flu and he can't do anything. You may want antibiotics, but it's not going to be good for you or for the society to give them to you. And the doctor knows that and he wants to explain it in a sensitive way. Uh, but, but maybe she's busy, you know, she can't, can't, can't be doing that quickly. So she types flu, presses F3, and the perfect document appears, uh, complete with formatting and all those good things, uh, stored and configured centrally then as, as part of your Nextcloud server. And there are many examples here. I mean, school reports, standard letters, hospital prescriptions, used in many, many places. Um, there's an even nicer feature here. Um, whereby we used to have user settings stored in browser in the browser themselves. Uh, and now, of course, we can store those uh, on the server side, which means that your, your client can be much more locked down, uh, much more secure, and, and have much less... I mean, it's not much data, whether you like dark mode or not, but it would be good not to store it in the browser. So, so some great progress there. And that, that then extends to many other features, and we'll be adding uh, many more of this, but you know, don't tolerate the regged squiggles. You know, extend your dictionaries, making it easy to deploy custom dictionaries that have those libraries of expert words and specific terms that are used in your business or your your enterprise, your government, say. Uh, so, and, and making it easy to extend and manage those. So, just with the right-click context menu, adding new words, uh, so you get higher quality letters. You're not distracted by extraneous misspelled words. So another piece that we have is the automatic documents, these new APIs that are there to extend uh, Nextcloud's capability to allow you to pull in and out information out of documents. So we use that for templates. You can see the nice integration. So you can see thumbnails of your templates, select them. You can then interrogate the template and get all these fields out of it. 
And you can type those in, and just a very smooth integration there for building documents. Obviously, we follow open standards, but you can also work with your existing templates, the Microsoft Office files, just drop them in, and they'll be interrogated and then you know, become that much more useful and powerful. And of course, this is integrated with Nextcloud Flow. So there's incredibly powerful combinations there for workflow creation and document uh, generation as well. And of course, with then with editing and collaborative editing around what you've created to improve on it. So creating beautiful documents is, of course, critical, and many people do that. But then proving that they came from you is really important. If you ever found anyone that's paid their DocuSign bill, well, you'll know them. Uh, you know, you can see on their face they've paid it. And so we can then provide a, a very nice way then uh, to do built-in signing here. You can insert your signature widget. Uh, you can position the signature it, widget where you like it. Uh, and then we work with EID Easy to, to make it possible to, to do uh, digital signing. Uh, for many, many different countries and, and providers, and they provide a wonderful API that lets us uh, do that. So you get then out of this a real signature, uh, verified in Acrobat, uh, that, that actually uses the, the correct thing for, for qualified European electronic signatures. So a, a great way to create beautiful documents and prove that it's you. So we're really ready for your documents, and uh, it's fantastic to be a key part of Hub 10. <laughs>